The module syndication feeds. This specific module creates an RSS feed for this page. So individual users could create a news feed for, the cur for this current page only. So whatever page you publish this on, it's going to create a syndication feed for that page itself. So you might want to use this for top level pages, category listings, things like this. So if you change something in a category or change a category change, it'll update that feed, wherever that may be. You can use it for any number of reasons, but here's how to use it. Uh, they need to give the module a title, obviously. Choose to whether or not to show the title. Select the position. Change the status and the access for it. Order this specific module. Uh, the placement of it in this module position. If there's multiple modules in the same position, this will let you order them. You've got a start publishing date, a finish publishing date. You can leave yourself a note here. Uh, and again, here's the description of the smart syndication model that creates a syndication feed for the page where the module is displayed. Down here at the bottom here, we've got where we can choose to show this on multiple pages or only one page. It's up completely up to you. You can show it on every page of your website so someone could create a feed, but understand even if you're publishing it on every page, that when they use it to create the feed, it's only creating the feed for that page, not the entire site. Up to the top right, you've got display text, yes or no, the text to display. It says if display text is activated, the text entered here will be displayed next to the icon along with the RSS link. If this field is left empty, the default text displayed will be picked up from the site language any file, .ini file. So you can put some text here, save it, go back to your site, publish your module, refresh your page on a different tab and see what it looks like, and then come back and edit this text if you need to. Under here you've got select the format for the syndication feed, is it RSS 2.0 or Atom 1.0? And then the advanced options are some of the same things we've seen on a lot of these modules where we have an alternative layout perhaps, and then a module class suffix for the specific module, and then some caching for the module itself. In the top right, you have save, save and close, save and new, and cancel. Cancel cancels out the whole operation. And that's about it on this module. Pretty straightforward. Thanks.